Now that's a cigar. Hey, I didn't notice you were with me. Thanks for stopping by. Rafael Gonzalez Lonsdale, don't find these anymore. Fantastic cigar. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, thanks for coming by. I'm Ray. This is Cigar Climatology. In the background here, you've got my uh, humble assembly area, a uh, place where I wire different components and work on different things, and uh, my studio. Forgive the uh, interior decorating. Anyway, today uh, I'd like to introduce you to uh, myself and cigar climatology and uh, what exactly it takes to build a cigar climatology precision humidor at home. That's what we're going to start doing today. Um, I've got a new wine cooler project which is uh, underneath this shoulder here that, uh, that I recently purchased from one of the big box stores. We're going to open this guy up and uh, inspect it identify the major components and parts excuse me and if I can imagine uh, if I can manage to get a, enough good smoking time in while doing it uh, maybe we'll uh, talk a little bit about what it takes to convert this uh, this particular cooler I, uh, I make a standardized kit for I've converted uh, quite a few actually. Um, there's one over here further to my left. I'll show you that one a little bit later. Um, I actually have uh, several of my uh, humidor designs uh, working in my shop area. Um, there's one over here off to the right as well. And um, but, but this is a design that, uh, that I've been really really happy with uh, and like I said make standardized parts for. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about uh, either modifying one of these uh, coolers uh, into a precision humidor on your own, or you're interested in um, um, seeing exactly how it, what, what kind of effort it takes uh, to, build, uh, to build one of these kits, to build one of these precision humidors uh, out of my products, uh, stay tuned for uh, subsequent videos, and I'll teach you exactly how to do it. Thanks for stopping by.